Dylan Larkin absolutely destroys Jake Allen of the St. Louis Blues, but was this the biggest hit ever on an NHL goaltender? Let's check out some other NHL goalies getting completely annihilated. Henrik Ludquist, a five-time All-Star and a Veneza Trophy winner, played 15 seasons as the starting goalie for the New York Rangers. King Henrik was behind the net playing the puck when Cody Eakin came barreling in with no intent to slow down. That was a big-time hit on Ludquist, the 2012 Veneza winner, as was this next hit on the 2010 Veneza winner, Ryan Miller, who played for the Buffalo Sabres. Milan Lucic of the Boston Bruins blocked a shot from the point. The puck sprung forward, and the race was on with Miller. Goalie won the race, but Lucic used the opportunity to take the shot at Miller. Lucic had a physical reputation in the NHL, as does Nazem Kadri, who is not a fan favorite around the league. A perfect example can be seen while he played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Nazem took a run at Nicholas Backstrom of the Minnesota Wild. He gets into the crease and elbows Backstrom directly in the head. While on the topic of physical players, Bob Probert was one of the toughest guys ever in NHL history. Playing for the Detroit Red Wings, his job was to protect his teammates, which he did while consuming the fifth most penalty minutes of all time. You can see his grit when he hits Doug Keane of the Boston Bruins. We would be crazy not to include the most famous goalie runner, Dave Tiger Williams. Tiger played 17 NHL seasons and tallied more penalty minutes than everybody. Eldon Reddick, a.k.a. Pokey, played for the Winnipeg Jets when he was ravaged by the Tiger. It'll be difficult to find a harder hit than the one on Pokey, but let's check out Mike Smith of the Phoenix Coyotes. He went behind the net to retrieve a puck, and as he shoots it around the boards, Andrew Shaw of the Chicago Blackhawks made a brutal helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. The results weren't pretty. Smith was a formidable goaltender, but Dominic Hasek was a dominating force between the pipes. His career save percentage is .922, which ranks as the highest save percentage in NHL history by qualifying goalies, of course, and there's no doubt he frustrated players, which could be the very reason why Keith Kachuk of the St. Louis Blues went slamming into Hasek on this play. Hasek was insane, as was Curtis Joseph, a three-time All-Star who played on six different NHL teams. He was playing the St. Louis Blues when the scariest thing imaginable happened. Cujo made the save, but the approaching offensive player got tied up and wound up kicking Curtis in the head with his skate blade. Thank goodness for helmets and masks. In a very similar fashion to the hit on Cujo, Mark andre Fleury of the Pittsburgh Penguins was also kicked in the face by a Toronto Maple Leafs player. Nothing scarier in the NHL than getting hit by a skate blade to a critical area of the body. That may not have been the hardest hit on Fleury, but certainly scary and very dangerous. Pavel Fransosa of the Colorado Avalanche was playing the Winnipeg Jets when center Mark Shifley split the defense and moved in on the netminder. The defense knocked Mark off his balance and Fransosa got steamrolled. If steamrollers intrigue you, check out Owen Nolan playing for the San Jose Sharks. In this playoff game, the puck dumped into the corner, and Ed Belfour, a two-time Veneza Trophy winner, played the puck out of his crease. It appears Nolan had enough of Belfour, as his team was being shut out late in the third period because he laid down this highly illegal body check on Eddie the Eagle. That was some big-time contact from Nolan, as was this hit on John Gibson, the goalie from the Anaheim Ducks. Gibson intercepted the puck behind the net when Oscar Sudvist went straight for the WWF. He blasted Gibson with a hard body check resulting in melee and a $7,000 fine from Oscar. Also performing in the WWF was Cam Jansen in this big time collision. Carey Price was goaltending for the Montreal Canadiens when he came out of his net in an attempt to beat Jansen to the free puck. 
The result was a high-speed crash which led to a brawl between the two teams. Another high-speed crash was sparked by Eric Halla of the Minnesota Wild when he tagged Kari Lettinen of the Dallas Stars. Halla was taking the puck up the boards and was bumped as he moved in. He lost control and went slamming into the goalie. That didn't look good for anyone involved. Usually when the other team hits the goalie, sometimes players can have friendly fire. Jonas Gustavsson was playing for the Edmonton Oilers when his own defenseman, Adam Larson, skated backwards into him. Oftentimes, the unexpected hit hits are worse, and this was no exception. Jonas was not ready to get hit awkwardly, and he paid the price. When mentioning unexpected hits on goalies, we must talk about Greg Stefan, a goaltender for the Detroit Red Wings. Stefan got tied up with Willie Plett of the Minnesota North Stars behind the net. When Stefan emerged back in his crease, he took one of the worst hits imaginable. Willie was suspended for eight games for the two-handed whack to the back of Stefan's head. We do not condone behavior like this. Greg Stefan played his entire career with the Detroit Red Wings. He was notorious for using his stick to clear away opposing players. This reckless behavior got him in a ton of trouble from time to time, like on this check from Buffalo Sabres forward, Kevin McGuire. Another player that gets himself into trouble on the ice is Evander Kane. He played for the Winnipeg Jets when he leveled Al Montoya of the New York Islanders. Evander argues he was making a hockey move and got knocked into the goalie, but this excuse rarely holds up with NHL goalies. They always protect goalies from being victims of these type of plays. Sometimes hits are on purpose. Other times, they're accidental. Like when Jordan Binnington of the St. Louis Blues was the unfortunate recipient of Alexander Radulov sliding into his crease. Jordan was able to leap up in an attempt to avoid contact but slipped through the air when the Dallas Stars player came zipping on in. That was accidental contact by Radulov. As was this hit on Tuka Rask of the Boston Bruins. Tuke tried to stand his ground with Philip Cheadle of the New York Rangers barreling in on him. Philip scored the goal but laid a smackdown on the goalie. Most thanks to Charlie McAvoy hitting him in the direction of the goalie. If that wasn't the biggest hit on an NHL goalie, try out this Dylan Larkin explosion. Dylan skates for the Detroit Red Wings, and on this play, he was moving into scoring position when he was hit from the side. It caused him to lunge forward and into the goalie Jake Allen of the Montreal Canadiens. Patrick Roy also played for the Montreal Canadiens. He was the first goalie ever to play in a thousand games and the first to win 500 games. Roy still holds the record for the most playoff wins with 151. In this wild scene, Patrick was playing for the Avalanche when he skated out to help his teammate who was getting pummeled. The Detroit player met him at center ice with a clothesline. Kyle Clifford of the Toronto Maple Leafs was skating at full speed when he collided with Peter Mrazek of the Carolina Hurricanes. Clifford never saw the goalie as he was skating as fast as he could to get the loose puck. Now that's going to leave a mark. That was a rough hit, but was it as hard as this next one? Corey Crawford played for the Chicago Blackhawks when he got bulldozed by his own teammate Dylan Strom. Dylan was trying to back check at full speed to break up the play, but got tangled in the mess and couldn't stop his momentum. Bulldozers serve one purpose, which Gord Donnelly demonstrated in this clip. He played for the Quebec Nordiques when he crashed into Montreal Canadiens goalie Brian Hayward, knocking him out of the game and sparking a fight between the two teams. That hit by Donnelly certainly started a ruckus, unlike this hit by Rick Nash of the Columbus Blue Jackets. 
Rick hits Carey Price of the Montreal Canadiens from the side, but Price was smart enough to tell his teammate not to retaliate. Carey knew the ref had had the penalty called. Great heads-up play by the Habs keeper. Pete Mrazek played for the Carolina Hurricanes when he covered the puck with his glove, but Joe Thornton of the San Jose Sharks decided to be a wise guy and took a swipe at him. Mrazek took the exception and swung his stick back in his direction. He got up and Jumbo Joe didn't hesitate before giving him a right-handed jab, knocking him on his backside. Another player known for right jabs was Cam Neely, a talented enforcer who played 10 seasons for the Boston Bruins. Finally winning the Stanley Cup in 2011, not as a player, but as a team president. This hit on Ron Hextall encompassed everything Cam stood for as a player. Get out of his way or he will run you over. If that wasn't the hardest hit, maybe this last video will be. Jose Theodore was playing for the Montreal Canadiens when he dove for the free puck. The freight train heading towards him gets low and leans in to attempt to hit the sprawling goalie. Those were some monster hits on some amazingly talented goalies. And if you like these big hits, you will love our video about the best snipes as well. So click here.